oh my gosh I used to think like this was the best thing I ever written oh my gosh it's so horrible wow this is me four years ago hey guys it's Chanel aka Family Reads and we are doing a fun one today not only fun but a bit cringeworthy we are revisiting one of my first stories I have ever written probably the first story I've ever completed and it's actually going to be its four-year anniversary on the 22nd so by the time this uploads on YouTube it'll be exactly four years since I wrote the end on Lost and Found. I'm very nervous and I'm very excited because I haven't read Lost and Found since July 22nd 2015 and I can barely remember the details of what even goes on in the story, how everything pans out. So I guess let's get right into that. Let's revisit my first story. Hey guys, so minor interruption. I said that I finished like in terms of writing the end for Succession on July 22nd, 2015. Apparently, I think I wrote the end on December 1st, 2014. It had to make sense because I, I could not imagine graduating high school and me writing the end on this. It was impossible. So I probably changed something in July. Like I probably fixed a mistake. Probably that because it said one edit. So I probably just corrected something. But yeah, it was not 2015. It was a couple of months before 2015. So you guys know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button so you can know whenever I make a new video. Videos are always on Wednesdays and who knows, I might throw in a surprise in here and there. So let's read this thing. It was literally titled Lost and Found 1.4. Look at the even, <laughs> I made like a title art. Do you see that Disney logo in there? Look at that. I. Yeah, I, I really thought I was about to write like the next Disney movie. I sure was not. But yeah, this was written in a script format. Um, This was before I got into novel writing and also before I knew the proper way to how to do the script. I was close though, cause I was doing like the external, actually no, I wasn't, I lied. Scene starts out black, Leon starts to narrate. <laughs> you know, I, told you I was a big fan of Tangled and this Tangled really inspired me <laughs> to do the writing so it almost kind of reminds me of like Flynn Rider narrating um the beginning of Tangled and I felt like that's where I was going with this angle I was I was I think I was trying to make like a new Flynn Rider I don't know why Flynn Rider is perfect this is Leon being a narrator there's always going to be two different kinds of people. Rich or poor, strong or weak, girl or boy. Friends or enemies. Ooh, I like the friends and enemies part. Okay, camera shows trees in the forest. And then still Leon narrating. But other than riddles, let's start from the beginning. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom that lived, that lived the king and queen. The queen was about to have a baby. She was queen with her pregnant stomach and the king. She had a beautiful, unique girl, Princess Layla. Hey, it's the first time I wrote Layla. Uh-huh. Oh, this is so cute. So she lived a happy life, but a lonely one. Layla was in her room looking out in the window. And here's Layla speaking. Oh, how I hope there was a friend I could have to play and talk with. The person has to be kind, funny, different, and loves adventure. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Then she walks outside in the garden. Then she starts to hear noises. Hello? Anybody there? A boy comes out of the bushes and fell, landing right in front of her. It was Leon when he was six. Aww. So I guess this is their little introduction. It's, it's interesting seeing how they first meet here because in this version, Leon didn't live in the palace and 
they actually meet were in succession now they were like infants they were babies by the time they met because you know their parents so it's interesting reading it how it is now and then he stares at Layla she's like hello she smiled and waved Leon kept staring at her whoa are you an alien are you an alien wow I put an alien in a medieval era I don't even think that was a word so I guess him just calling her an alien was just him reacting like to her eye colors you know was it normal you know one green one blue that's not normal to him Aw, he even said you have two different eye colors how I don't know I was born with it that's amazing really she smiles yeah what if it means you're special I'm Leon and I'm six years old <laughs> that is like the most fox and the houndish thing I can say I'm a fox my name's Todd what's your name kid mine's copper I'm a hound dog that's so weird oh my gosh why did they put that in there me too me too I'm Layla princess Layla do you want to be my friend I think you're funny and you seem kind you are a perfect friend for me <laughs> now the do you want to be my friend thing I've done it before I've, I've actually just went up to someone and say like hey do you want to be my friend and I really didn't even know the person that well but hey it all worked out in the end so we already went through another time jump um, when they were 13 then we went to another one that was two years later get out of here is that groff i didn't even oh my gosh now <laughs> if you see who groff is now in succession and seeing groff's name pop up and like cheering leon on that's pretty funny to me wow i didn't know i even wrote groff into the story. Groff was Leon's brother. Wow. I did not know that. Leon was going through an obstacle course with his brother and then his dad was watching. Mm. Interesting. And wow, he's really cheering him on. That was amazing, Leon. Thanks, Groff. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would never leave Leon's mouth now. Oh my gosh. And then you have Carver watching Leon, Leon and Groff's dad. He looks like amazing. Ha! Huh, I wouldn't call it that amazing. Leon rolls his eyes. Of course you did. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Of course you didn't like it, father. It was sloppy. Well, I was just having fun. You remember what fun is, right? You're 15 years old. There isn't time for fun. By your age, I had my first kill already. Ooh, you took a you took a dark turn. I think with this scene, I had influence from I think Once Upon a Time, and I know exactly what scene this is because I almost did it word for word. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's with Regina. Um, in a flashback, um, she was riding her horse and then her mom was watching. She was just like, Regina, you're getting too old for games and, you know, stuff like that, so. Beautiful? <laughs> I'd hardly call that beautiful. You didn't like it, Mother. I was just having fun. You're getting a little old for fun. <laughs> I just put it in Leon's video interesting i'm still in the beginning wow this is like an extra long prologue from there um there's like some type of attack on the castle and there's like people in there and like layla and her family are trying to get away and then i think leon's trying to help i don't even know why there would be an attack but uh the last thing she sees of him was him on the ground on his knees the old man holds up a gun against Leon's head and she saw Leon go down. He disappears. And then she screams out now. <laughs> I don't feel like screaming out now. There wasn't even no guns at that time. I mean, there was, but they're pretty faulty. They didn't like using them because they were so unpredictable. So, wow. Maybe I didn't know what time I was wearing this in. Maybe, I don't know. Mm-hmm. 
in this scene, um, Leon's 22, um, he's staying with a friend named Joan, which is Jack's now. I don't know why I was calling him Joan. I think it was because of Frozen, which was like, hang in there, Joan. And that's why I was calling him Joan. But um, this is Jack's um, in succession now, but he was called Joan. And, uh, oh my gosh. Get up, kid. Hmm? Come on. I need you to do something for me. Huh? It's too early. I don't even know who I am right now. Stop being dramatic. He pulls the covers off Leon. Why are you being so cruel? I've been robbed. Leon opens his eyes. Oh. I felt like if I had a voice actor, that would probably sound better, but... So I think with this whole thing, I want to be like this cool sequence, this cool action sequence with Leon showing off his skills, like running on the buildings and just trying to catch up to the carriage. You see, there I go with these guns again. How? Mm. Wow. Like I am doing these scenes like as if this is like Mission Impossible or something. Wow. Like this is Assassin's Creed. Okay, so now we finally get to Layla, um, as she's older, and Maria, I'm pretty sure Maria is the stepmother, and, uh, this is her knocking on Layla's door, you know, just trying to wake her up, and, uh, oh, so this is when Elena comes in, she's ready to go, where were they even going? I have no idea. Ooh! Oh! I did implement these in my stories. So when I first got into the writing again, I, the way I told my stories was through music, mainly like music that was in Broadway or anything in like a Disney movie because I wanted my story to be a Disney movie. So it's like, if I'm going to write a story, they got to have a song in there. So the opening song I had in there was from a Broadway show called If Then, um, it starred Adina Menzel, and <laughs> that's the opening scene, and I guess the way how Layla and Leon were supposed to cross paths in a way, I think, but I don't think they even cross paths in here, so I highlighted it in blue, because the Frozen script highlighted their songs in blue, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that too, so wow. I really don't even get where they're going. So when do they even interact? Oh my gosh, I'm like 28 pages in, which means I'm 30 minutes in the movie. Up and walk to the outside to their garden. Okay, so, haha, -ha, Leon drops in. So, I think like his dagger fell out. She was just like, here's Leon saying like, okay, okay, I won't hurt you. Just like, stop moving. Just take it easy. She throws a dagger at him, but she misses. Barely. Take it easy? You take it easy. I don't want any trouble, and I don't want to soil this dress. How did you get here? Leon slowly took his head off. Just let me explain, Layla. How dare you? You should have dressed me as your princess. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so hard to take her seriously saying something like that. She would never say anything like that. Unless it's to someone she didn't like, and it's like, don't dress me like that. Leon? No, it's impossible. Leon's dead. <laughs> no, it's me. I'm alive. Prove it. Are you bloody kidding me? Tell me something that we only know. If you say who you think you are, and you better be right, I am not in the mood for, I am not in the mood to be fooled with. Fine. He goes to her and whispers something in her ears. Her eyes widen while she, while he was telling her. She stepped back and slapped him. What did he even say? I don't even know what the secret even was. And I'm the one who wrote it. So guys, that's going to be all for the video today. It actually turned out being way longer than I thought and way longer than I even wanted it to be. But there was just like so much of lost and found 1.4 to uncover so it will be split so part one will be here and then uh next week will be part two but wow it was just so much to uncover so 
hit that subscribe button please and don't forget to follow me on instagram to get into my writer's journey and you get a chance to see my igtv videos which i just started a new vlog series on there the writing something great vlogs oh there goes my tear my famous tears as i'm recording videos uh so just me vlogging but my writing life and my struggles and all that good stuff so hang on tight we're writing something great